We're going live. Give me one second. And I will be with you. I sound like I'm uh, tailing to people at a shopping store now. Har, har, har. But anyways. Right, I think we're ready. Cool. Hey, it's me. Just me. All right. Anyway, so today is October 26th. Right. My mouth isn't moving again. Darn it. Stop doing this, VC. Anyways. Oh well. I'll just let it go. Uh, so today's theme is firelight. Fire. Fire, 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 firelight, I was right, Just fire something, anyways, jaw and two guys next to a fire, you know, the easy stuff, yeah, we'll see how easy it is, okay, uh, don't worry guys, I promise to make this as gay as possible, decided it should be winter already do you know it got snow not too far from us like in Chicago area today it's ridiculous it's not even November yet snow's not supposed to be here this early I hope I'm not making this too big, but we all know planning is not my uh, skill set. Kind of starting to look too big, though. Yeah, Rar, Twifu. Yeah, I think this is definitely too big. Uh -huh. Why am I like this? I'm trying so hard, but planning skills I don't got. Cosplaying kitten. Oh, I do ring fit in the morning, but for obvious reasons. I didn't do it today, though, because I was not sure what time they would come for my car, and I just had so much to do, so. And wasn't feeling that great. I'll do it tomorrow, though, so. Oh, my hair is going through my boobs again. It's getting so cold out. I wanted to go walking. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Well, I've been waking up with uh, too much Wong, so I'm not just laying in bed for you know a couple hours reading now. Like I literally forced myself out of bed now. So I was waking up at the same time, anyways. I just wasn't getting out of bed. I got my first case of Pernio for the season. It's like, no, please stop. Do not want. Oh, <laughs> wow. What time did you wake up before the pandemic then? I used to wake up at eight. Nine's pretty good for me now. Getting out of bed, I should say. I still wake up early, just actually moving. Okay, yeah, I was gonna. I knew you had to like, catch a bus and stuff. I just didn't know what, how long it took you to actually get there. I worked like, you know, 10 minutes down the street by car from where I live. So it was uh, pretty easy just to kind of roll out and go. But yeah, the whole not having a job or having... Well, every it's been weird. It's been a weird year all around. Oh, your bus stops across the street? That's not too bad. I knew it. You're a schoolgirl. Your secret's been told. Honestly, I feel like all those years of having to get up super early for school, like 5.30 and whatnot, just kind of killed me. I don't want to get up anymore. I've never been a morning person, though. I mean, I'm barely a person most days, so. But definitely more of a night owl. As long as it doesn't involve leaving my house.
still drew this too big, but I don't feel like erasing it and doing it again. So I'll just work the fire in. Yeah, it was, well, honestly, I've always had to take the bus, except for, for kindergarten through second grade, third grade, because, yeah, it was weird, um, and starting in fourth grade, when the merit program kicked in, I would walk to my old elementary school and then catch a bus there to my new elementary school, and then they'd get the bus home. At least for college, I didn't have to take the bus. I've never actually really taken public bus transportation except for when I was in Japan. It was a lot easier, except for when you go to Hako and I, that one was a mess, but.
Oh, that's good. I just get really nervous when there's people. Okay, so we got this weird shape. So I barely left my room. I self room for the fire. Just gonna draw it in front of here. It's not important. No, I think he walks. I think looking into it, it actually added more time to take the bus from the train than it did from just to walk from the train. Oh, God. Yeah, no. I can't do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think it was more like the bus took 15 and the walking took 10 or something. You know, it was like it added actually a little extra time. So it was like, it's not worth it. Plus extra money. Yeah, walking's fine. I mean, I'd prefer to walk 15 minutes than take a bus, so. I mean, I do horrible in the weather like this, but my uh, left thumb swelled up earlier thanks to my perineo, so that was fun. Oh, yeah. I think when we used to go for like, well, ballet practice, not ballet, just to see a ballet, we always took the L. So I have fond memories of that.
Oh, yeah, that's bad. You would think that they would have, uh... I don't know, I just... Common courtesy, but I guess this is America, so... I posted that thing about, uh... How, uh, well, my region is seeing an insurge in COVID cases because people are being idiots. And there was this whole really dumb discussion on it. And I was like, oh my God, please. Like for the most part, people were trying to be like, you know, oh no, this makes perfect sense. Common sense. And then there's somebody who was like, well, it's not helping. I still know people who wore a mask and got it. Like, yeah, that's still, it's preventionist thing. Guys, that's not quite how this works. But whatever, yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'd see it because you have access to my Facebook. So yeah, no, that was a uh, something. <laughs> I was at class teaching, so I didn't really have a chance to like respond but uh somebody stepped in and did a good response and i already messaged him to thank him i was like yeah good response please keep doing that i don't care uh, sometimes it is how it is yeah exactly that's a good, a good, a good way to say that. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, there were people who did survive the Titanic even on lifeboats, but the majority of those who managed to make it on lifeboats did survive. Well, yeah, people were being, but it's still kind of the same general premise. And even then, there were still people who could have frozen and stuff because it was cold. thing that still pisses me off about the Titanic movie is there was plenty of room for Jack to get on that door with Rose. <sighs> yeah, no, U.S. has just, well, it's because nobody wants to even do the bare minimum. I just, I don't understand how it's that hard to wear a mask. It's like, I have severe breathing issues. I went on a hike and forgot my inhaler and managed to wear a mask most of the time. I only took it off when nobody else is around and I needed to catch a breath. Plot. I don't know. Didn't all the wasn't all the plot in the Titanic earlier? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> It was so weird. Only one of my students showed up tonight. And of all the ones that showed up, it was the one that least likes the class. And I was like, oh boy, this is going to be fun. And instead, he did an amazing job today and was super excited and had lots of good questions to ask. And I was like, never mind. He's probably just better if the hyperactive girls aren't there. This is a weird song. It's called the No Pants Dance, apparently. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one definitely helps. I mean, it's not a really big class anyways. They, they're they purposely keeping the classes really small because of COVID. Yeah, especially the in-person ones. Like, when I got in today, I opened up my little cubby because we have our own assigned cubbies, finally. And I was like, oh, man, there's a card in here? And I was like, is this like a birthday card? Do they know my birthday? No, it was just a thank you for, basically thank you for being awesome card. Was this my pizza party? <laughs> 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 
But yeah, no, so it, it, it went well. And he's missing next week, but I told him uh, the Wednesday class is Zoom, so I'm hoping he can make it up that way. Nice. Oh, dude, if you touch the door, you have no idea who else touches it. Even if every person is wearing their mask, if they touch the door and didn't sanitize it, if there's somebody else who wasn't or something, you know, it's it's just horrible train. train. If I have to touch doors, I even if I have my gloves on the entire time I'm inside, I still sanitize afterwards. Yeah? I assume they asked you to bring a mask, right? Cosplaying kitten? Good, good. That is good. As it should be. I'm super excited you got that interview, though. I hope it works out for you. What is uh, Illinois' mandate right now for stuff? Aren't you guys, are you guys rolling back a phase or which phase are you guys in? I know, uh, was it Cook County just went under the same thing and had to roll back just like uh, Kankakee and stuff. Phase three Wednesday. I, we're in phase five because, you know, our governor is an idiot. They were talking about dropping the mask mandate, and I was like, no, please don't. It was supposed to possibly end October 15th, but it seems to have been extended. I have not actually read anything that says so, but all the stores and places still have signs that say to wear it. I mean, I'm going to keep wearing mine anyways, but... Ha <laughs> ha Lovely! Oh, that's going to be fun. Did they specifically say what part? I mean, I'm not doing anything wrong. I only go out when I actually have to. Phase three. Yeah, they've rolled back, right? Or gone forward? What phase are you guys in? <laughs> oh, you're going back two phases in Illinois? Wow. Or at least in the counties. Dang. Because I assume you both are, even if you're in different counties, you're both in close enough counties that it matters now. Yeah, the numbers are in the COVID cases in this area are getting horrible. Illinois has one of the highest cases. I was surprised. Oh, that's, that's always uh, fun. Ugh. Yeah, there's some other people I know like that, too. And I'm like, guys, it's great that you believe it's something exists. But, okay, in his case, he just forgets. I mean, that's still not great, but... Ugh, my pencil. No. I mean, there's a reason I keep a spare mask and stuff in my car in case I do forget. I actually need to restock it, because somebody took my spare mask. Judges too much Wong. <laughs> he finally heard me say something. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm glad you had a mask for the zoo. Was that the zoo we went to? When that was a case? I don't know. But, you know, that car is uh, in the salvage yard today. As of today, they came and got it this morning. So... I 
I will say, uh, I was worried that my mother wasn't going to like super take it serious early on, but I think she understands that, you know, if she wants to see Cosling Kitten, she has to do it. And if she wants to see me, who is high, also high risk, but super close, she has to do it. So that helps a lot. Even if the only reason she's doing it is to help us, it's better that she does it, period. And I mean, now she does it without a problem. I just know the first couple of times when, before the mandate actually came, they were recommend, like, you know, when they first started recommending wearing a mask, I'd be like, huh, where's your mask? Where's your mask? <laughs> and now it's like, yeah, she does it. My kids in my Monday class will never know what I look like. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I was going to say with a Pregger's woman in the family, you got to be really careful because there's all sorts of fun things uh, she can pick up. And then, of course, the baby. Really? That's weird that he doesn't want to take a multivitamin. This time of year, too, it's good to take, uh, I think it is D. <laughs> the one with sunlight. <laughs> yeah. Well, seasonal depression, seasonal? Yeah, that's what it is, right? Depression is also really bad around this time of year because, you know, we've gone from warm to cold. But so that's part of it is the imbalance of chemicals, including vitamin D, don't help in any, so... I'm gonna be lazy today, guys. Don't worry. I'm just looking back here. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I can't take, uh, I use gummies. I can't use any of the, um, like, any of the vitamins and stuff that are in pill form. I can use gel caps, but I usually just like the gummies, so I go with the gummies. But um, I uh, have a, uh, my stomach does not like the coating at most medications. So, yeah. But the gummies, I can get down without eating food. You shouldn't do it, but. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, his eye is so far back. What am I doing? Oh, maybe it's not that far back. It's just his nose is too far forward. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Is he also still, <laughs> that's why I shook my head. I don't know what I'm doing. Is he also still working from home or is he back in the office now? And cosplaying kitten, if you're still there, is this job gonna be remote? Office on Mondays, or is it gonna go in the office? I go to the office every day for Akiba Soul that is upstairs. <laughs> yeah, that's a good call. Man, I don't have to draw his other obnoxious glove this time because it's behind Turl. Yeah. Victory!
Gotta hide most of this with flames. Firelight was the theme, guys. I accidentally cut off most of the fire. Ah! <laughs> yeah, every time uh, we're watching, uh, when we watch uh, the Among Us streams with some of the, uh, the, the VTubers from Hololife, uh, Polka, who's one of the most amusing right now, uh, she's always going like, victory when they win, and I just can't help but picture the ring fit guy. <laughs> So come on, everyone, get ready to squat and hold it so we can power up with a victory pose. <laughs> One of the last levels I did on Ring Fit was like, oh my gosh, so much leg. I mean, I guess I should have got that with somebody named Solar Pluxia, but. No, it was abs. Never mind. Was the leg one was before that? I don't even know which level I just did. I may be mixing two up. Ooh. I just know there was a lot of squatting and a lot of abs. That was like my two la my last couple weeks. That's all that was. I go back every now and then and do stuff I missed or, uh, yeah. Side quests. Because some of them, like, there's one that I still haven't unlocked, and I'm in, like, World 9. I was like, what? Where is the side quest? It's from the second world or third world? It's really early on. Woot! I'm level 67? <laughs> But I'm also probably on an easier level than you as far as the actual level. I've been upping it, but I when I started, I was on the lowest. Because with my health, I was like, I ain't going to risk it. I definitely have done more days than you, too. I'm also higher than too much Wong for the same reason. But <laughs> he, started on, he started on the hardest level and died. Like, literally... Physically, not the character him. Yeah, I'm just at least trying to keep it. So, uh. I'm doing it somewhat regularly, so. I try to do it usually like three days a week at least, but um, I've, I've had some weird weeks and some pain and stuff. So it's the usual and the cold is not helping. So, cause that's what one of the things that makes my joints hurt a lot. Also, if I know I'm going to be packing like a lot of pre-orders or getting a lot of boxes for Akiva Soul, I do not do it that day because I can't handle that and packing. I think last Thursday was about when I last did it too, and I didn't do it today, so... Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, if I know if I'm going to be doing something, which I'm usually anymore, I'm a lot more active on a, I'm usually more active on the weekend somewhat, running around, even though I don't really leave my house. I just tend to run up and down the stairs a lot, I guess. But yeah. I'm really bad about doing it on the weekends just because a lot of times I'm sleeping in later because I stay up too late 
or too much wool in case it's too late. Well, feel free to run up and down my stairs if you should need to. Yeah, the stairs in my house, <laughs> yes, Viarata. The stairs in my house don't seem that bad until I have to carry like 70 packages down them and then it's like, I can't do them in little trips. So, yeah. Put that pen there so I don't accidentally pick it up again. I won't, won't need it for a while, hopefully. That's totally fire. fire. That's good. Yeah, I tried it on the days that I don't do my workouts. I try to do some of the physical therapy exercises I had over the years. Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, like a lot of my physical therapy stuff is a little, it's real, it's a really easy or it's stuff I can like, you know, walk around or do in spurts. I don't have to necessarily do it all at the same time. It's like a bunch of sets of things though and it's it's my stretching Oh. At least it's only a few days, right? Man, I'd go crazy. Although I think it's worth it. Three days, so not too bad. Time to learn how to draw Twaifu. Just draw for three days. Yeah, that's good. But think about it, then you'll never need to wear glasses ever again. Which is good. Well, at least until you're 45.
So today I was setting up all the uh, um, pre-scheduled events for the Hall Arc of Sinners Halloween event, and like the new Facebook freaking hides, hides the schedule thing. It took me forever to find it. I don't like new Facebook much. I'm old, let me just stick with my habits. Yeah, I was gonna say, you probably don't deal with the events, but yeah, it, was, it used to be so easy because you just like post and be like, I'm gonna schedule this. But like, no, if you try to do that now and you try to type, it's like post and that's it. It's like, uh, what? So you have to go through like all these other hoops. I just kind of kept clicking things until I found it and looked around online. But it was not fun. It's a lot of extra work I didn't need to do. But I did get all the scheduled stuff scheduled. And I even wrote the pop quiz and have that up because it's already up. It just, nobody knows the link. Ha <laughs> ha. So. I think there's 17 scheduled posts for the day. Some of them actually require me to do something with it once it posts, too. A lot of them are just, it posts and that's it. That's okay. Halloween is going to be a weird day for everyone anyways. We'll see how it actually goes. I'm not expecting a whole lot of like uh, people back and forth. That's why I like, oh, it's the wrong pet again. A lot of the, like, uh, the final event of the day, which is the, uh, like, behind-the-scenes lore thing with me, I said it might only go half hour. I didn't set a dead a end time for it, because I'm like, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I might get on there, but there will be nobody on, and I'm just like, bye! Ha-ha! <laughs> and for, like, the, uh, um, character question one, I got some, I need to actually, like, compile them all, but I have some, uh, questions ahead of time that uh, in case we don't get any or aren't active that we can talk about and things. And that way I can also go over that stuff with my actors at the beginning so they'll know how to answer since, you know, nobody probably knows as much about the characters as I do.
Although that makes me think about that one time at a uh, ramen con when somebody came up to me and bought was uh buy, bought one of the archive of sinners book one of the later ones and was talking about how i think they might have bought only like it might have actually only been greed but they were talking about how they really liked it but they didn't really like what happened with uh pretty's younger sister in book one and they were like i don't know what it was like the way they were just putting it though and i was like oh well i thought it was a fitting ending and stuff and we're just talking and i was like oh would you like me to and then like you know she buys the book and i was like oh would you like me to sign it for you and she's like wait you're the author like yeah yeah, I'm selling my own books here. I'm not so <laughs> She didn't realize I was the author, though. And she's like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I bad mouth. You're like, you didn't bad mouth it. You said you enjoyed it. <laughs> you just said you didn't like that. And I was like, that's fine. It was great. I was like, I'm not offended at all. I was like, more like, man, you read it? <laughs> cool. I mean, honestly, I'd like to hear more feedback, even if it's not all positive. I mean, obviously, ideally, it would be all positive, but... Definitely better than, you know, uh, too much Wong's feedback of the one book of mine he tried to read, which was Altier. Got through, like, the first chapter and then was like, there's a lot of words. <laughs> He's read every graphic novel, but the novels are a bit much for him. I've been working on really, really slowly and not paying a lot of attention to it. I was working on the uh, audiobook for uh, the first Dragon Pillars, but oh my god, I'm only like 10 minutes in and I'm still in the first chapter. It's like, uh, can I do this? This would be the time that I wish I had money to hire someone to do it. I'll just read it to you. Call me up and I'll read you books every day. I was actually trying to do Archive of Sinners, the audiobook first, but you know, it's in first person and it's a boy narrating it. So, uh, yeah. Have you actually read any of the Justin Files books? <laughs> yeah, too much Wong can't read that many words. How is he supposed to speak that many words while reading? Oh, that's a good one to read then. They have, uh, the audiobooks are really cool too, because they're, uh, was it James Masterson? The guy who did, uh, Spike and Buffy is the uh, narrator on it. Peace Talks just came out. I still haven't read it yet because I still have eight books left to finish. Eight, eight books. Eight pages left to finish on that other book, which I really should do. Say I'm reading up in bed all the time, but it's not books. It's manga. Yeah, I actually did some auditions for uh, the Archive Center stuff, and I just, I couldn't find anyone that I liked for the voice of Very. Like, I don't know, Very's got like, I think the problem is in my head he sounds like Mitsuki Saiga. <laughs> it's kind of hard to break. What's wrong? I'm gone! Thanks too much, Wong, for taking. I have a skirt, yeah.
I've actually yet to actually listen to audiobooks myself, though, because I am too distracted to listen to audiobooks. I understand their charm, and I think it's great. I just can't do that. Yeah, I know a lot of people do it in the car. I just, I can't even do that because I have to have something I can interact with, which is why I usually go music. <laughs> Since my uh, radio is currently not working in my new car, I've been singing to myself in my car really random crap. <laughs> I'm so glad I haven't had passengers yet. <laughs> Well, my car goes in uh, Wednesday. I am uh, going to just take money out of my savings to cover it for now. I'm trying not to touch that, but. Say lovey. So I know I'm going to have to start getting into that in the next couple of months for bills, so. I usually wanted that second stimulus, man. I could have paid off two credit cards. Too much Wong did some suspicious work on my car after I got home from class. So the first place I tried to call to get a quote, like I called, and they didn't pick up, and it went straight to voicemail, and it was some guy's cell, and like the voicemail box was full, so I couldn't even leave a message. I was like, okay. So then the second place I called was where I actually got my road started, because the first place was where I got my uh, alarm put on for my first car, and then my second, the second place was the place I got the remote start put on my last car. And they answered and gave me a decent rate and were really friendly. And I was like, dude, you know what? I'll just go here. I'll drive to Lansing. It's fine. I'll go to Illinois. It's not that far. Not Lansing, Michigan. Oh my gosh. That's. That's only three hours. That's actually not that bad either. But no, Lansing, Mich Lansing, no, great. Now I'm saying Lansing, Michigan. Lansing, Illinois, which is barely over the border. They really do. Then you have like when you go to Illinois and stuff and like driving uh, on the way to Texas, you pass like Cairo and London and Paris.
Oh, well. Hey, I don't know which one I actually knew about first. Niles, Michigan, or Niles, Illinois. I mean, I definitely knew about Lansing, Illinois first, but Lansing, Michigan is a bigger city. If you're so mad, you should fight them. Do it. Fight them. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Is this the latest thing millennials are gonna ruin? Cities that have the same name? <laughs> I'm ready for this. <laughs> it's okay, that's what we do though. Everything that millennials ruin isn't actually our fault, they just blame us. Well, millennials don't have enough money to do stuff, therefore they must be, they're killing this industry, therefore it's their fault. Say la vie. Don't worry about it, it's your fault now, so. Accept it. Accept the millennial curse. It's like the millennium puzzle, but millennial. Alright, Copic time! I'm still here, guys. Don't worry, I haven't left you. Reflect, gray, and gray. Sure. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually color the sky a bit. Don't mind me. I just like squish myself against the table leaning over to grab that. Now my hair is eating me. Got caught on the mic. This decision. Okay. Guess we'll do this first. You want it, you want the avatar? Like the last airbender? <laughs> what are you, Zuko? Honor. Right, he's got more than just a face. He's got this neck hair too. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know who I'd say I'm the most like. I've gotten Katara before, which isn't bad. I just don't know if I really see that one. And I absolutely love Zuko, but I don't think I'm much like him. I know, we're all just Sokka.
food is always a good idea. Oh my god, we're actually all Momo. Momo, the flying lemur? Oh, okay. Don't you forget Momo. Momo is great. Momo is actually one of my favorite characters. Zuko and Momo were my favorite characters. Because I have a weird variety of favorite characters. I like that one uh, meme I saw, which is basically like, uh, guess who avatar version? And they're like, oh... Does, uh, does this character have, like, whatever, like, traumatic childhood or trauma in their past? And they're like, no. And they're like, is it Momo? <laughs> oh, it was great, though. Sorry, everyone else. I laugh at your misfortune. But we all know Momo said some very not nice things to Sokka. God, I need to rewatch that series. Too much Wong hasn't seen it, which is why I have it. Because he wants to watch it with me. Which is acceptable. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't, it's not too hard to watch during war. Especially because it's in English. The problem is if too much Wong gets too invested to something though. He'll pay too much attention and get nothing done. So what happened when I was watching Stranger Things season three? For me, it really depends on what it is, but um, I'm, I'm better at like multitasking than some people because I didn't have much of a choice when I was younger, so I don't recommend doing that though. We're almost done with Axe, so Gundam Seed will be our next one up for the Gundam Marathon, and I'm pretty sure I can multitask about that one because I'm not that interested in seeing it again. Maybe it'll be better than I remembered it. Maybe. Maybe my favorite character won't die in episode like 15 now. I honestly do like rewatching stuff or putting on like a US TV show like on Netflix or whatever in the background. Preferably, because a lot of those, I pay just enough attention to it so I don't need to pay as much for something new. Even if it is something new.
K dramas. I've never actually watched the K dramas. I have had a couple that were recommended to me though. They're all bad. Oh, okay. Well, I know there's some series that may not be considered dramas in that I also was interested in checking out. One of them is like mystery, one is horror. I do not know the names anymore. Because I'm so bad at that, but I'll find them again and be like, yeah, that was it. I really like mystery series. Romance is a bonus book. I don't really like romance stories, though. It has books. I mean... I do have some guilty pleasure rom-coms, though, so I can't say I'm completely devoid of the like of it. It's just... Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I'm good with words. Okay, cool. I'll look it up though and see. Honestly, Korean have s too much Wong would probably like it. Koreans have some of the best horror movies though and mystery movies. They're so weird, but they're so good. I love it. Oh my god, there's so much black. Japan has some good ones. Not all of them are super weird. Some of them are actually pretty good. Is my black running out? Oh yeah, I know you meant live action. One of my favorite uh, Japanese movies I actually watched on the plane on the way... I'm not sure if it was two or from Japan. One of those two. But you know, like last year or whatever. It's called Room Laundering. It's actually about a, go a, girl, a, go a girl who can see ghosts. And has some like issues and is living with kind of like a deadbeat uncle and stuff. It's it's interesting though. And there is actually a TV series on it too. which uh, Drama which we downloaded and I have not watched yet. But it sucks because I cannot find that movie anywhere. Like they don't have it anywhere for sale even. Or rent. I was like, come on. I want to show it to other people. One Cut of the Dead was another one. That's really an interesting one. I did not know what to expect it. When we were looking at horror movies once. Japanese horror movies. It came up. And it was like. This is not what I expected it to be. But it's a really fun movie. That one I do actually have. though, Where I can have uh, other people watch it. Oh, so much black still. I'm just flipping this over guys. Sorry. Oh, I need more room. 
trying to color his random leg here. There you go, that's better. Oh, I just have Rattles here left to go in the black. And then I've got the gray. It's called me not adding detail to things, I swear. God, I want to go back to Japan so bad. They don't even want us there. Can't blame them, though. Oh, this would be the week you guys would be gone. That sucks. That's so sad. All right, next time I see you, We'll just talk in Japanese. It will seem exactly like you're in Japan. Because totally blonde girls speak Japanese in Japan. Don't worry about it. Wait, is Halloween this weekend? Okay, so when I see you on Sunday, we'll just talk in Japanese. I'll, I'll tell too much wrong this. We'll let you guys experience the Japan experience. Do it, forget, don't worry about it. You'll just have to turn the subtitles on. Trying to get by without having to refill this black. I'll definitely need to refill it for uh, the next art I do. I don't even know what the next one is. Next one I have to use black in, which so many of these characters have black in them. Ha ha ha. Okay, woo! Almost done with this. Yeah, takeout's probably a, a better idea. Just a little cold outside. Oh no, this one is dead. 
Oh, I gotta refill this one. All right, let's grab my refill. I was trying so hard not to have to refill. Is this my number seven? Yeah, number seven. I need to find a better way to store these. They're just in a bag. As you hear the ASMR bag noises. That's five. Where is seven? Oh no! Too much Wong, why would you do that? Now I have to make emotes again. Guys, I haven't even decided on my first one. Why are you doing this to me? I haven't decided on my emote, it's just light. <laughs> What emotes does everyone want? You guys need to let me know. I will make emotes. I'm just gonna start pulling out refills. Yes, chess! <laughs> it's an emote. Oh my god. Wow, thanks too much, Wong. Thanks for that. Guys, I'm attempting to find a marker or a refill. I have too many refills. So they literally are just in a bag. Apparently though, this unlocks another emote. So yeah, like I literally got to decide what emotes I want to do. Does anyone have like something they want to see? I don't know. What kind of emotes do you want guys? <laughs> How many were you? Oh my god, do I even have this refill? I swear I did, but maybe I don't. If not, I need to add this to my list. I'll just draw up. Well, one of the options was just those kiosk-based ones, so technically you fit that bell. Oh my god, I don't have this refill. I'm depressed. This is sad. Okay, well, I guess I'll go with a little lighter one then. Okay, come here, guys. Let's all go back into my bag. Yeah, because I'm not sure for the emotes if I should just do, like, just those kiosks. Or if I should do, um... Like, this avatar and just things. Or if I should do, um... I'm going for a different marker, guys. I'm still here. Just random OCs. I'm not really like trying to sell myself with these, which is why I'm like, I don't know if I want to just stick with me. I don't actually know what I'm going to do with my Twitch. Really? I'll figure it out as I go. I didn't actually expect to meet affiliates. So now I'm like, uh, yeah, got to be more serious about it. But okay, there we go. Whew, this one works. And I have the refill for this one. Although I'd probably need three refill too. Sell my soul. I mean, like, dude, I'll play video games for money and draw for money. Wait, I already do that. Not the video game part. Refilling this again. Hence why I'm off the screen, guys. Sorry. I'm just really bad at deciding stuff. The emote I threw up there wasn't actually meant to be like a, isn't meant to be a permanent thing, but people seem to be enjoy spamming it. So uh, for the time being, they can enjoy it until I decide on what I actually want to do. It's actually a line sticker I was working on, so. Okay, cool. Refilled! Trying to make it a night sky, guys. Very lazily. Okay. You guys are in the way. Okay. 
it's wet. It's like it's wet marker or something. Yeah, like I said, this this stock of paper is like horrible for a uh, Copics, which is why I will not be doing. This is the last year of the sketchbook, anyways. But I will be using a better sketchbook next year for the October art challenge. Whatever I decide the challenge will be next year, aka whatever you guys decide my challenge will be next year. I guess I'm purposely not going up to them because I was trying to make it look like there's light coming around them. So in my mind, it worked better than it's doing in here, but that's okay. Let me take my lightest one now. Maybe drag it a little more into my. Yeah. Oops, I smeared the black with that one. Just to. Normally the paper I use, it would dry faster, so this isn't a problem, but on this one, it's definitely a problem. Ooh, I smeared the black again. I should be more careful. I hate this paper. Oh no, okay, I didn't bleed there. Ooh, close. Abunakata. This pen is also dying, but I am too lazy to refill it today. I'll refill it tomorrow. That looks like something. We should add some shadows to the uh, desert. Too much Wong just joined a uh, Polkos fan club. Good enough. All right, let's go ahead and get the whites out. I'll put all these away in a little bit. Not that you guys can see what I just pointed out, I realize. I've got markers all over my table now. My white. Hey. Yeah, I gotta put that in there too. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. leads into his hair a lot because like I said this paper is horrible for this uh... 
overall it's not too bad though. I didn't mess up that much with the This is supposed to be stars, guys. Flip it upside down again. that up too. Alright, so today was firelight, so I went with Turl and Rudolph camping out, and Turl is taking a snog, and Rudolph is like, this is my tracer, ha 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 ha, so, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool, so, next, tomorrow's, next tomorrow's <laughs> prompt is together I don't actually know who I'm gonna draw for that one either I'll figure it out and uh, I guess go from there I got two different ones I can do from play or two or three different ones I can play from groupings because obviously it's gonna have more than one person but yeah thank you all for joining and uh, yeah if you guys have uh, emotes or suggestions you'd like to see just uh, let me know sometime and uh, yeah I'll get to them once uh, October is over, I'll have more time to do stuff. So that's going to be a, a big lifesaver after that. So thank you all for coming and good night. <laughs>